Okay, we are back. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to continue right on the spot uh, with this, uh, creating this dorm. And I think we can create uh, the material and make it more detailed uh, so that we can use it on other domes here. So yeah, let's do that. And if you look closely, it's a bit uh, raw raised. So I'm just going to grab another texture. Uh, maybe I can grab uh, this concrete import as an image can use the same mapping uh, it gives us a nice crack uh, but uh, let's see let's see let's see uh, can we just use object mapping on this let me see ctrl t i change this to object box and uh hmm Yeah, just do. Are these are these library add-ons are free? I know this is a paid add-on. My add-on I created, and uh, you can if you want to check it out, just use exclamation mark add-ons, and you can see the add-ons I'm using. And. Uh, so this is what we have so far and I think we can also add in another texture just to make this even more detailed uh, because remember we can we want to use this for a lot of other other things so I'm just going to mix this with this and uh, this again can be box mapping object something like that and I think this one can be set to multiply and uh, uh, for the roughness I'm just go going to add a math don't here control so that I'm able to control the roughness uh, like that and I'm also just going to grab a uh, grunge map I'm going to go to my grunge map, so let me link uh, that folder. Resources, mm, grunge maps, link. Grab maybe uh, this here. Import it, import it in. Love your work. Uh, thank you, Ali. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. So this is that. You can just scale it down a bit. Maybe use object as well. And uh, just make sure that this is like so. And I just blend it with this. Let me see. It's still too reflective. Maybe let me switch this. Uh, to something different maybe to this one here sweet texture yeah, and uh, this one I think breaks up uh, the reflections a bit better now let's try using object mapping for this as well ah, I think yeah I think this is okay now I'm going to call this at this time let's try renaming naming these things better and uh, just to make our project more organized maybe I'm going to split this view here have an outliner on this side I'll call this dome and uh, the material also what I'm going to do is uh, just grab all the nodes here and maybe even this control G uh, so that uh, we have a single node group like this. Hello, Eddie. Uh, let's get this um, medieval or oh, Arab town. I think this is a uh, Arab town. Uh, for the reference images, again, you can just type in website exclamation mark website. 
and that should take you uh, you see the post that i've just created uh to get uh, to see the, the artist's name and uh everything else so hello bob bimon how are you doing so yeah so we, we want to create a custom shader uh, so that uh, we can replicate it for other domes what i'm going to do is just go into this node group and uh, uh so to be able to change the color of this i'm just going to add a mix node here just set this to color 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 and now we can use this to change uh, the color of the dome like that if you want no color we just set it to white uh, so since this is an odd group i can use uh, this color set it as and i'm going to call this if i go to the uh, group i can call this uh, dome color or concrete color and uh, also set up a roughness controller here so just connect this to the output and uh, this is going to be roughness concrete roughness roughness like that i think that's all we're going to need uh, for this concrete shader so we can control the color uh, we can control how rough uh, the dome looks like that then are we also going to cr create this uh, I don't know how it's called but uh, yeah that uh, I want it to be separate so I'm just going to use uh, let me start with a plane I rotate it 90 degrees scale it down like that go to edit mode I just want to grab uh, this is what it says just going to grab this and just start shaping uh, that piece uh greetings from saudi arabia ah, nice how are you and how is saudi arabia assalamu alaikum and just do something like that and uh yeah we don't want too much resolution as we are going to need quite a few of these so something like this Yeah, that's uh, tacky. That's 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 how much I know Arabic. If you're asking me more than that, yeah, I'll be lost. So, are there a lot of uh, Blender artists or 3D artists in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. So this is our pick, and uh, now we just have to use uh, the spin tool. to spin uh, to make this complete so 360 we can use maybe 16 edges loops I calculate normals and uh, we have that uh, that peak it can be Uh, somewhere maybe something like that maybe even taller now if you look at this uh, this is what we have we can give it the same material as this control L link materials uh make it blue and uh so i'm going to call this a uh, blue concrete blue concrete concrete and uh i'm also going to 
let me see if we have a lot of metal objects here. Hmm. Yeah. Then I'll grab all the vertices around here, up to here. Create a new material, give it other blue concrete, but the same. Just change this. I'll call this gold concrete. Assign it to this peak. Now we can change this to a nice golden color like that. And we have that. So that's our dome. And again, as I said, we're going to create, try and make this modular. So we can start by making a few of these pieces. Actually, let me, some of these pieces, maybe create this, uh, I don't know how it's called. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. So the way it looks to me is uh, we can just start with a single piece or a single plane like this. And uh, just style it. I think uh, what I can do is add a curve somewhere here. Add a curve and uh, and just use that curve to create uh, the detail we are looking at. Hello, Ayat. What's good? Everything, man. Everything is, uh, yeah, somewhat good today. I'm just going to set this to vector. I'm just shaping the inside detail there. And then this. So then now we can come in, maybe make something like uh, that. And uh, then, like that. Now I can go to edit mode, reduce the vertex count here. Uh, something like that. Convert this to a mesh. Uh, mirror this. Mirror on the X. Turn on clipping. Something like that. Hello, Ray, Ray Rog, Rock, Mejia. How is everything? How is Brussels? I've heard some nice, some nice things about uh, Brussels. Must be a very amazing country. Actually, hey, thank you for subscribing, Nail Goland. Actually, what what I'm going to do here? I'm just going to. Uh, just mm, let me see grab this edge extrude down grab, extrude this edge extrude it up and then extrude it like that now i can select this entire loop hit f actually i need to first fit face this then hit f like that so we have a piece like this and now i can just uh, select this hit i to insert it and that will give me a ring how that goes around here uh, which I just need to edit just a tiny bit uh, to how I want it. Now these pieces here are intersecting. I uh, should be easy to fix. To fix like that, like that, and uh, like that. Now we don't need this edge anymore. Connect this to the last. Now what I can do is I also give this the same concrete material. Uh, but we're going to make it a little bit different. So this is what we have. Apply scale. I'm going to make this a different material. And uh, also this node group. I'm going to change it a bit. So let's navigate into the no this node group. 
now i also want to select this edge ring let us connect this i want to select this edge ring actually this piece here has to be continuous like that just need to extrude this just a bit like that now one thing i want to do here is uh first of all i want to make sure that uh this doesn't uh, the concrete doesn't have any color maybe a bit brownish like that i want to have some brick surface or brick material inside here bro can you make a tutorial about character making uh so harris i'm not very good at character making that's why i say i don't do it a lot a lot hello madara can you make one video on how you make textures please yeah i'm, I'm creating a right now i'm creating a course on how to make textures a very detailed course uh, so i'll be posting an update when i do that and uh, do you have a tutorial on how to how i can use you uvs it's very hard <clears throat> so Tuki, uh, what you can do is uh, go to YouTube and I have a lot of videos about UV mapping so you just search top channel one on one one on one uh, UV and uh, it should uh, bring up a lot of tutorials about UV mapping that I've done you can see is a way to UV unwrap I have a bunch of these so yeah you can uh, do that and uh, yeah search that maybe let me just uh, leave a link a direct link uh, if you want to check that out so yeah let's uh, uh thank you very much it will be great and very helpful i'm glad to hear that okay so uh, i'm just going to tab into this i want to get a brick material so let me go to my folders walls and see if i have any bricks okay i have these these Let's try this. Import as a texture. Hmm? Did I import it? Import as a texture. I can't seem to. F Ah, yeah, so it's being imported, but out because we are outside uh, the group node, it's being added. It's being added outside the group node, so. Uh, okay, so I don't think, uh, <laughs> if you're inside a node group, you won't be able to use this. So I'm just going to get this directly from my resources. Uh, let's go under, mm, under what? It's under walls. I want to get this concrete, all oh, this uh, block here. And uh, we can use box mapping. So Ctrl T. Just make sure that uh, we're using object mapping. And I rotate this. Let's see, rotate this 90 degrees. So our bricks are like that. And uh, we can scale this up a bit. So something something like that. What I'm going to do is just blend them with this, uh, with the concrete, and uh, maybe just uh, they don't, I don't want them to be overwhelmed at uh, the color, at uh, the concrete. So I'm just going to use let's try color. Okay, that doesn't really do it. Let's try overlay. yeah something like that now let me see if uh if you tried out a different brick also have this if i switch okay let's see uh, let me just connect this directly And I think we can also use this in the roughness. 
like I said, I don't want it to overpower uh, everything else. I want this to be in our roughness. Yeah, so that's uh, our wall. And uh, uh, this ring here is usually a bit brighter. So I can create, uh, this is going to be brick, brick, uh, yeah. And uh, we also want a brick lighter, brick light. Okay, this should be brick and then brick lighter. Now we are just going to assign this uh, to this node. Yes. Select this. Assign this uh, to brick lighter. And uh, with brick lighter, we are going to make uh, the bricks look a bit lighter, a bit uh, different. Just a bit like that. And now, so I think this has to be a bit smaller, like that. Uh, so this is one single piece here. And I think uh, these walls have to be a bit closer, like that. And uh, Then if we use an array, we can make a few of these like that. And uh, we have this, uh, I don't know how it's called, uh, maybe a pentagon or something. So I can create, a, what is it called? Can I use a curve? I can use a curve. Uh, if I go to edit mode, I think we need to subdivide this and just make sure that we are using vector and I see the shape we are creating. Just going to rotate this maybe 40, let's see. So that is uh, looking straight like that. It's straight uh, like that. And uh, we can grab this. Let me get this. Um, I'm just going to grab a copy. Let's have this here. Then use a curve modifier, select this as a curve. And now we just have to get the right axis. Uh, let's try X, Y. You know what, uh, the curve is just going to make it harder for, for us. There's no point in using it. So I'm just going to get this, I can scale this down. Uh, since this is a very easy shape, I don't even need uh, to use the curve. And now what, what then we can do is just duplicate this, rotate this to align it uh, to this shape. So let's go make sure that this is also previewing that. So I just want to make sure that uh, these are well aligned. Like so. Just just have this right there. I can grab this shift the LD rotate it like so. Grab this, rotate it another 90 degrees and basically I'll create the shape. I'll be 
rotate 90 degrees have this complete like that now with this we don't need a curve anymore and uh, what I'm going to do is get this move it into its own collection call this uh, I don't know dome uh, part one I just just make sure that uh, uh, this is well centered in your scene and, uh, uh, because we're going to use instances to duplicate this so like that now I can disable this and uh, add it back using adding it add but add it back as an instance so if I want to tile this up it should be very very easy then Another thing we can do is uh, create this. Uh, uh, actually, we can uh, just duplicate this. Let me see how many steps does this have? As one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, exactly what we need. Okay, so let's create this part here. Uh, that is a six-sided, an eight-sided figure. So let's use eight. Uh, is it eight? Yeah. Uh, we just have to make sure that uh, the rotation is right. Apply rotate, rotation. Extrude up like so. And give it the same material that we have here. So concrete, apply scale apply scale maybe use an array modifier with a curve and make it change in the window yeah I've, I've, uh, I tried that but uh, it, it seemed like it was uh, more work than I wanted to you uh, to do I'm going to make this brick small just scale also uh, make sure that this is a different node group Live from P Pakistan as usual. Uh, glad to see you, Pag. A mobile live. Glad to see you. Let me just get to uh, that. I want to scale down the bricks just a bit. Yeah, something like that. Now we can add in these uh, details here. For that, I'm just going to. I don't like working in Photoshop, so I'm just going to use my Deco Designer to design these details here. So I'm just going to go to Design Deco. And let's see if I have anything here. Okay, nothing here is very useful. So I'm just going to add a curve, a curve object. And uh, let me first try to render this. Go to rendered mode here. And uh, we want to start by uh, adding a mirror uh, to this, and I'm can, I can delete all the vertices on this side. And let me just make sure that this is not looped. So I have this at the top there. So we are creating this design, and we're going to use it as a texture. And I'm using my texture deco designer uh, to design it. Uh, you can get it from if you just type in exclamation add-ons. Uh, you can get uh, the link to the add-on if you want to get it. I'm going to set this as a vector. Uh, just do something like this. Uh, maybe grab this to be up. Uh, this has to be a vector. And, uh, just extrude this and extrude down. Okay, this seems to be very thick. Scale it like that. Apply scale. Now this is going to be something like this. And uh, like this and then extrude this. Extrude this on the X. Extrude this on the Y. And then E. Again, down clipping. And you can even now turn this into a single face. I can change this to vector.
Yes. Grab this piece. Turn off clipping. Just so we, we have something like that. And uh, with this, I can uh, just go to curve. Have fill mode on. Uh, this has to be 2D. I fill both. And uh, you can see what we have. Now we can start working on the materials. Uh, so this is a reddish material. Or we can even just give it, uh, actually you can just leave it. Just make sure the value is set to one. Like that. Again, we're designing this piece here. Uh, what we can do, uh, there's some kind of Arab wording, I think, in here. I can just go to Google and search for, I don't know, Arab vector uh, designs. I think something like this can work. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful with the actual words because I don't really know what they mean. So, hello, independent cube. I think this is also a nice pattern. How are you doing? Yeah, so I can save this. Let me also get uh, this. And uh, then I can grab uh, my texture folders, texture folder, and just import. Let me see. Let me go to my quick decos designer. Let me just get, I think it's under downloads. Let me see where did I save this? Where did I save? Okay, so it's uh, it's on my desktop. Uh, desktop, new folder one. Yeah, so I want this. I want. Uh, I want to link desktop one link. I want to get this and I just get it here. So I want it to, to place it somewhere like there. Uh, as a design like that. And uh, I think I'm just going to use this as an alpha. Alpha blend or alpha clip. Uh, we can just invert this. And, uh, You can give it a different color like that. And uh, I think that's uh, going to be our deco. So I can just go under save, maybe change the aspect ratio to a square aspect ratio 1920, 1920. And just scale this up. I okay, just have to bring it closer to this. Okay, with that, we are done with the deco. I uh, can just go now to render the image. So it's going to be like that. I want it to have transparency. 
and now I can save this somewhere into my resources custom decals I'll call this Arab uh, design like that I save now we can get rid of these even the camera and just go back here go back to this I can go back to my texture uh, texture folders and uh, link my custom decals resources custom decals and just grab that our design we have just created now uh, let me go to this what I want to do is uh, going to inside this node actually before I can ungroup this uh, so that it's easier for us to work So I'm just going to import this image. Uh, so are we going to need this to be unwrapped? So Maxim and then unwrap. I need this to be mirrored. And uh, this piece has to be repeated onto every piece here. So let me first go to my that image. So something like that. Uh, so what we can do is just select it, each face and just line it up because I think it's much easier than uh, just UV unwrapping each individual face. Let me first get unwrap and then just get one face. Yeah, so my internet went off. I did jed and uh, yeah i had to do a few things to make make it work so something like that and now i'm just going to grab these individual faces and uh, align them like that yeah it uh it went off And now this is what we have. I just have to mirror this on the X, uh, scale it on the X as well. Maybe even scale it E. Actually, I want that border to be there. Let's grab these, grab these vertices. Scale them like that. Let's go back to the reference image. Go back to the reference image which I can find. So this, uh, which is uh, ah, this here, and uh, are the stream is buffering every second. Uh, I think my everything seems to be fine on my side. Maybe it's on your side. Is every is everyone's stream okay? Because it seems it seems fine for me. Yeah, because I yeah I was having internet issues, uh, in the first stream, but I I think I fixed them. So maybe it's on your side. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So then we can just uh, let me see. This is what we have. And we can blend this here. Just have this as color one, and uh, the alpha mask can be the factor 
And now we get that uh, kind of deco. And uh, that's what we have. Maybe make, change the color of this, of the concrete just a bit. And maybe even reduce I uh, want to see the bricks I think uh, they're this here I want to get these bricks makes them less prominent for this So the red seems to be a bit too much uh, for my liking. So what I can do, uh, since the red and uh, these are different colors, I can come here and just uh, do a convert car ramp, add it, uh, add it here, uh, because I want to separate just the red. And uh, even I can even use a convert separate RGB, and uh, that should give me a good mask uh, for the red. So that's. Uh, no, separate, convert separate RGB and uh, that should give me a good mask for the red. That's the blue and uh, that is the red. Okay, so the, the red still contains this but uh, we have a good mask uh, for the blue so I can do a convert math node. And uh, we can subtract this uh, from uh, from the main image. So if we get something like this, it should. Hmm, it's not giving me what I want. What about this subtract? Let me see. Oh, we can just use directly the car ramp. Hmm. Yeah, so I think the green channel is going to help. So I want to just remove this so that I retain only this. So I just need to find, so if I get this somewhere here, I can even use constant. You know what, let me see, is, actually I can change this to white. and change this to black. See if that... Uh... Yeah, it's really hard uh, to get rid of these lines for some reason. Maybe let's use the alpha channel. Actually, I think one way to do this is because I want to separate this part to this part, but uh, every trick I'm thinking of is not really helping. So let's try getting this as color one. And that should give us that. And using the alpha as the factor, and then use a convert separate RGB, separate RGB. The green channel. Uh, or the blue channel, one of these channels where was giving me a good 
Okay, so you just have to see the colors. Yeah, the blue channel can be used as the factor. But uh, inverted. So color, invert. Let me see if I add. And uh, if we use. You know what? I'm giving up on that. I should have changed the colors better. Hey, thank you, Samuel J. Uh, coming up with that donation. You're always donating. I thank you. Really, really appreciate that. I will continue the color of this later, but uh, yeah. Because every trick I was trying wasn't working. And I also want to make uh, these edge loops a bit rounded. Shade smooth. Okay, uh, this is what we have for that. Uh, I learned a blender on the internet, uh, like you're doing right now on YouTube. So now, now with all these pieces, we can start adding things together. So for example, I can add the dome part one here. Can even make it taller if I want, maybe shorter like this. And I just want to add it on top of this. Somewhere like that. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, let me first add a loop here. Bring this down a bit. Just add some cornice detail in here. Extrude uh, this along the normals. I think I can use auto smooth. Just bevel this. can have some extra detail like that on the surface. And uh, we don't need to repeat the same thing here. I'm just going to snap the cursor there, grab this entire piece, Shift D, Shift D, and then Shift S, cursor to selected. It will be moved at that position, but you need to make sure that you hit offset so that uh, the whole thing is moved. I'm going to mirror this up. And I'm just going to use Merge by distance uh, to get rid of any duplicates. Just make sure that uh, this, move this down. Just grab this edge loop and this bridge edge loops. And uh, can just move this down. And uh, I think this should be the same color as uh, so. So, can I get your Insta? Uh, I think uh, you can use, ins uh, uh, is it exclamation mark socials? And that should uh, give you the, my social media. Let me see, I want to see the colors should be nearly the same. And uh, we have our dome here with uh, this pin here. So I can just have this under a collection called Dome One uh, Blue. That way I can instance it, instance Dome Blue here, like that. And uh, I can also grab this piece here 
Ctrl L, Shift D. Okay, so look, maybe that's not uh, the. Let me let me get the get uh, the disk. Let me get Nightboard. Ah, uh, because uh, my Instagram is supposed to be Ismail's VFX, but uh, let me get uh, the actual link. Because um, I think we go on the commands custom. Oh, so it seems I haven't set up uh, the show shows. Uh, let me get that. So uh, that's my Instagram. It's uh, top channel one on one. And uh, I think I should uh, add it as a command. So, socials, social, socials. Yeah, so the socials command should work now because I've just set it up. Put it in your about channel about. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll try to do that. Just bring this up around there and then bring this dome around there. And I think this should be part of the dome. So I'm going to separate it and uh, just include it. I'm just going to reset its position, origin to geometry. Just clear the rotation and move it to my blue dome. And you can see now uh, this dome comes with that. Uh, like so. And uh, I'm just going to go to this because they look too flat. And uh, this. Uh, uh, so the original version is this. So all I have to do is uh, to make them look thick. I just have to extrude uh, this and uh, I can even just add it add a mirror modifier to this uh, so that they look like actual walls so mirror this on the Y now you can see that uh, uh, the walls look like actual walls I just need to get the instance of this uh, this is dome part one uh, this here I should have a mirror on the Y on the Z and uh, all of these should have the same modifiers Hmm. Create object data like that. And now uh, the, I think it looks like a thick wall. And uh, this dome here, let me go to that. I think uh, it needs to end right around. Here, as to origin, origin to three D cursor. Just grab these. Maybe general proportion editing. Maybe scale it just a bit. I have a very fast PC, but my blend lags when I add modifiers on the one object. How can I solve this? Well, that depends on uh, what kind of modifiers you're adding. I'm using mirror arrays. Uh, these are not very heavy modifiers. So it uh, can depend on uh, what kind of modifiers you're using. If they are really heavy, then uh, yeah. So 
So uh, this is our dome and I think uh, the height is a bit too high. It's a bit too high. Uh, so I'm, let me just uh, edit it a bit. Somewhere there. Yeah, so that's one piece. And uh, the great thing about this workflow is that now I can just duplicate this entire collection, so which is uh, this here. Let me see how this looks. Okay, so this looks a bit uh, quite different. Let me see this. Hmm. So we have a lot of vari variations for the different domes. Uh, let's create this antenna here. And for this, uh, we can start with, uh, let's see. Uh, so this is, a, a think, I think, a six-sided figure. So let's start with that. Shift A mesh, actually, Shift A circle, uh, six-sided, uh, like that. Extrude up. Uh, so we are creating this piece here and uh, with this we can just delete one side one side like this uh, all the sides accept this and use a mirror modifier a mirror modifier like that and uh, if we add I uh, say an empty like this, we can use that as our mirror object. We can hmm. actually before we do that, we can mirror that, and then add another mirror object, another mirror modifier. Uh, this time, we can use the empty as our mirror object, like that. Give it a nice rotation like that and we can mirror this on the y and now we have a complete face i'm just going to link or get get my uh, concrete material or uh, this brick material i like that i need to make sure that uh, it's using object mapping some for some reason it's not in some areas uh, let me just go in here and uh, the modifiers uh, because I'm seeing some stretching here uh, there is UV mapping let me see doesn't seem to affect yeah, so this is stretching and I don't like that so what I'm going to do is just duplicate this so we're going to have a lot of duplicate materials, which I don't want, but uh, doesn't seem like uh, we have a choice. Uh, I'm just going to grab this, Control L, link material. Still stretching, uh, but this time, what I can do is uh, just make sure this is a different material. And uh, for the brick texture, which is, which is uh, this here, Instead of using box, we can use, let's see, sphere, nope, tube, nope, or we can use, uh, actually, we can, let's try, just remove uh, this rotation, and uh, that should uh, be good. And, uh, it's a bit br too brown, so I'm just going to, yeah, somewhere like and still greenish. Okay, now let's create this detail in this detail here. Since we have uh, this piece, actually you can just even rotate this uh, so that everything is straight uh, like this. And I uh, just watch what happens as uh, we are making changes to this piece here. So uh, there's some nice segments here so I can just grab these edge loops. Uh, 
I'll just uh, add an edge loop here because uh, I want to create this uh, piece here. Just grab it up, add loop there, bevel that loop like that, then add an another loop there. And I can grab this, bevel that, at round that off. Or oh, an easier way to do this is uh, maybe add a loop here. Let's first straighten this. Uh, delete all these pieces. Now just make sure that uh, the cursor is at the middle there. Select one edge. And uh, just use uh, the spin tool. Okay, it's going in the wrong direction. Uh, but uh, that's okay. We can just first do it in that direction. And just, so this is 180. And just change the other uh, rotation. Uh, let me, I need to do this in this view here. So just, yo, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Gabe De Leon, really appreciate that. I just need to rotate this like that. Yes. My dry distance to get rid of any vertices, any doubles. Then I can grab this, fill it in like that. And uh, then fill it in again like that. And, uh, now this is, uh, let's see, this length and I can uh, now just extrude in and have something like that. Shade smooth, auto smooth, and maybe even round off these corners a bit. Let me first get rid of these edges. How do you stream on Twitch and YouTube both? Uh, I'm not really, I'm not streaming on YouTube and Twitch. I'm just streaming on YouTube. I uh, are you just asking a question or did you see someone streaming another stream on Twitch? Because I don't have, I'm not streaming on Twitch. I think OBS can do that, but uh, I'm not doing that currently. No. I uh, need to first apply scale, then I want to bevel this edge and just use 0.5. Uh, the subscription graphics looked like Twitch. Twitch sub. Hmm? I wish subscription now. Uh, which subscription? Now, we have, uh, I, had, I had this Arab piece, this piece here, or should we use this? Which one is better? Which one is better? I think, let's just go with this, which is uh, this here. If we import it into Blender, I think there is an option to convert this into a plane. Uh, I think you have to do this directly into there is an option that allows you to convert an image into into a mesh uh, just it's a glitch pencil option I'm just forgetting where that option is convert trace yeah it's a it's under object convert a trace image to glitch pencil. If you do that, let's do okay. And uh, let me see thickness, reduce this. Let me see. the resolution could be okay here. So you can see it's being, it has traced successfully. And I th let's see, 
white black yeah I think it has worked so let me hide this and uh, this is what we have so I just want to get rid of uh, this and uh, now we have this and I think I also need to get rid of uh, this now we have that also need to get rid of uh, this so we have those inside details and I think we can also get rid of this and that so we have as those details and uh, maybe get rid of that for the parts that are missing I'm just going to duplicate a few pieces and uh, now what I can do is just grab this side and just dissolve those parts those faces dissolve dissolve those and I can convert this now into a uh, convert to a polygon curve or oh, let me see convert to basic curve current list so not valid timing most timing hmm okay so it seems that we're having some issues convert converting this let me first undo a few steps and see if that's this would convert convert to because if I'm able to convert this yeah so it has converted let me see if the fill will work hmm so we have managed to convert it into a curve but uh the pieces are not really filling so what i can do is just i can just convert this let me first remove this reduce uh the resolution I can convert this to a mesh now and uh, that is going to make it very easier for us to work with actually i think before we convert it to a curve let's reduce the number of points now uh, convert it to a curve a mesh now and just get rid of one side and what says on one side because we're going to use uh, the mirror modifier for that and now I can grab this piece fill it in and you can see what I'm doing here grab this piece fill it in grab this fill it in Okay, we have that. Now I just need a mirror modifier. Just make sure that uh, the origin, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Apply rotation, just. Make sure this is also filled in. And uh, now we have this piece. Uh, we can use the decimate modifier. You can use the decimate modifier. I can apply uh, the mirror and then use the decimate modifier just to reduce on the resolution. Something like that. 
Now, the reason why I created this is because you see this piece has those details in. So I can uh, just snap this to this. Yes, align it up now. And uh, what we can do is just uh, grab maybe a loop, an edge loop somewhere here. Just extrude this in, and then I can grab this piece, give it the same material, control L, link materials like that. And then I'll just uh, extrude it And we have some nice piece like that. Just uh, join this and uh, we have that, which I think looks great. And uh, I'm just also going to grab uh, uh, the outside of this. Let me first add a ring here. Just going to grab this. Insert it, uh, insert, grab this outlet, hmm. Uh, this can be filled in. It's dissolved. I just want to get this edge loop here, extrude it out and uh, give it uh, the bright uh, material so that uh, gives that gives this a nice look like that now if you look closely the top here also has some nice details so I can go into that let me make sure that we are viewing this just go in here then start extruding some extra details uh, that uh, we can use but uh, if you look closely, uh, there is a cut somewhere. So I need to just grab this and use this. Uh, make sure that uh, we have clipping turned on. Actually, we don't have to turn, just have to, I don't know. Just align these vertices until uh, they touch like that. Just make sure they don't slide uh, because they tend to slide after they touch. Like that. We have to do this on this side, on this side as well. On this side, I think I can just use active element and just uh, use this and uh, I can use clipping hmm. now we have that uh, if you want to make this more detailed uh, we can just grab this edge loop Round it off. I'd have something like that. Maybe even add a loop here. Push this down. Round it off. <clears throat> and then we have our tower like that. Another thing we can do is add in these small details. For those, I just need. Uh, to add, let me go in here, add a plane, rotate 90 degrees. Just make sure that uh, clipping is not on. Let's scale this down. And I'm just going to round off uh, this corner a bit, just like that. Control L. Control L, extrude 
then shift D Y and repeat So I think this has to extend Now that's this tower here We can continue eat the same way here. Yes. Yes, round is adding extra details uh, if you want. Just uh, drag this down. Maybe extrude along faces. Hello Napoleon, how are you doing? Let's do something like that. Now uh, to create these arcs, uh, those are very easy. Just have, we just need a face. Let me see. Hmm. Trying to see, at look for a better way to create them. I think we can just extrude this face down and uh, maybe separate it first. Subdivide it a few times, then I uh, just bevel these edge loops, add a loop here, add a loop here, and uh, maybe a loop here, just get rid of these faces and select these vertices and round them off. Oh, just uh, add a subdivision between them. So like this, just grab this vertex, push it up like that, and then round, round off that vertex using bevel. Shape has to be 0.5. Like that. The I think I can just also, I don't need these extra vertices here. But uh, we can scale these up to make the arch more pronounced like that.
Now I can select these. Or I can just select the entire piece or this piece here. Then extrude it in. Like that. Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Beautiful work. By the way, thank you, Kapil Patel. How are you doing? You can have something like that. Now, I think we can use, you can try uh, uh, bisect uh, to get rid of uh, any intersections. Uh, so my piece also looks a bit scaled up or these pieces they have to be maybe a bit uh, larger but uh, I'll keep mind that that size and maybe just make them a bit shorter like that good to know good to know man Delete face, face. Mm? Can even just grab uh, this edge loops. Uh, actually, let's not do that. It's just going to add more work. Then we can grab a few pillars. Maybe add a cube somewhere here. Scale this up. So it has to be at the corner there. Just like that. Now we can grab our Dome, scale it down. Put that up. And that piece is, that piece is done, I think. Have you made any short movie in Blender? Well, yeah, I've, I've made something. Uh, maybe let me show you that. Let me see. I used to make short movies, but very, very short, short, like uh, 20 seconds. Let me see, what do I remember? The channel, one-on-one -on -one shots. Short. One on one. Mm, let me see if I can get. I don't even remember the names. Yeah, I can't remember some of them. But I, I, I used to. I'm also going to grab this piece here up to from somewhere uh, from here I just grow I just want to grab this up to say here uh, that shift duplicate it let me change to image editor and uh, just push it out maybe scale this part
and I just scale it out like that. Till everything connects. Scale on the X. Grab that. Like that. And uh, this can also be centered. Let's look at uh, these here. This can also be sent in the center of the world. Center of the world. And uh, just give it a name tower. Now we can hide that. And if you want a tower, we just instance a tower like this. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, we can even make this even taller by uh, just doubling it like that, extending it like that. Duplicate this again, and uh, we can make it longer or taller like that. Uh, this piece might be, we need to be a bit smaller like this, maybe. And you can see, with just one, we can uh, make a lot of variations. So uh, for those longer, longer ones, uh, we can just do that. So let's see what else. We have a dome, we have a small piece. Uh, what we need is now larger walls, large pieces of walls. Uh, those shouldn't be too difficult. We can just start with a, a plane. Give it the same material, wall material. Control L, link materials, apply scale. Maybe let's try giving it a different brick. A uh, brick at uh, this shouldn't have any of this and I should be reddish so this is going to be our wall now actually it doesn't have to let me see let me see actually let's, let's create it that like like that so Uh, these are going to be our walls and uh, the walls uh, let's uh, mirror this mirror on the y and the x so we only have to worry about one side i like that so and i think we don't even need uh, this part here I don't know, maybe you can leave it for, for the second for now. Now the bottom should also be rid of. With this, we can start, actually let me first get rid of this. Uh, with this uh, we can start adding details. Just extrude like this. Just bevel. Then extrude uh, this piece. Uh, shade smooth, auto smooth. Uh, let me see. Uh, the color can be something like that. And uh, then uh, this can be extruded up a bit. Like that. 
and uh, we can just get this piece. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, so we can get this piece here and just design it to look like uh, these decals here. So for those, let's add a loop here. Just pull this up. Actually, let me first get rid of this and uh, design it. I think uh, we can just do something. Can round off this vertex. Yes, round it off like that. Round off. Hmm. Round of this. Just change this a bit. Maybe scale this. And now we can just mirror this, shift B on the x-axis like that. Let's mark these. Hit F. Something like that. Then extrude. Uh, yeah, extrude. I'd have something like that. Now these lack detail. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me first isolate them for a second. Just get rid of this face, add a loop, control B to bevel it, then add another loop, Alt S uh, to push it in like that, and uh, maybe round off uh, these edges a bit. Shade smooth, auto smooth. So then on the inside, We can, let me see, let me first isolate this again. Shift edge, fill in this face. We can add a cube. We can add a cube, say, let me first recalculate normals. We can add a cube like this, maybe scale it like this, add a loop. Just grab this and grab this. And now we can use this art boolean as a boolean object. So face, mm, I think we can even do a few of these. So let me just You can just do face, uh, Boolean intersect like that. And uh, if you want, you can even just, uh, let me see my distance. Great if you provide free 3D model. Uh, the model will be available on my Patreon. Uh, that's how I get to pay the bills, man. But uh, yeah. So some design like that should be good. Maybe even make it thicker. That is uh, going to be our wall. Can add in maybe an extra uh, an extra edge loop like this.
can also just push this in add another loop here Can you provide uh, the download link to the Blender version you are using? Uh, the version I have doesn't have fields. Um, I'm using uh, 2.3. 2. Just download the latest version, the latest build of Blender. The latest build of Blender should have that. Okay, so this is our, going to be our wall. And uh, now we can use an array. Yeah, so this is our wall. Uh, we have a dome. We have A dome part we have a tower so you can see how it's going to be very easy for us to piece to piece uh, these different things together uh, let's see what else can we add now now that we have this wall uh, we can also reuse it uh, for something else so for example I can just uh, add an empty uh, somewhere like here yes Grab this and uh, I'm going to first apply. Do I need to do that? I just need I just need a mirror object and now I can rotate this. Actually, I can move this around here. And rotate this uh, 45, 45 degrees. Let me see how 45. I think 45 is enough. Turn on bisect and just move this along uh, like this. Uh, maybe this can be. Uh, this angle like that so we have a piece like this if we mirror this on the Y actually no then no if we uh, grab another object like this use another mirror object so let me just duplicate this, but this time we can use another empty like this. Uh, you see how we are creating this pattern. Uh, this time this can be rotated and this has to be exactly there and uh, rotated in a way uh, that uh, these are connected. So I want to make a complete loop of this. And uh, actually, I don't even need that. Now, I don't need another duplicate. I can just use a mirror modifier this time. And uh, this time we need the empty to be in the middle. Uh, like so. And this can just use that empty as the mirror. Turn by sect. And now we can have this somewhere like this. And mirror this on the Y as well. And turn on by sect as well. And we have a complete. What do you by what does bisect do? So Bisect, when you don't have bisect, 
I can see that uh, some of these will start. Let me first uh, remove this, remove this, remove this. When you don't have bisect, uh, the mirror pieces will start to intersect. When they are intersecting like that, you can hit bisect and uh, any intersections will be cut off. But uh, if they are cutting off the wrong parts, you can just use flip and uh, that should uh, flip uh, the bisect. Now we have a complete piece like that. Now this has a lot of moving parts, so you need to make sure that they are, they are all being selected when uh, moving the pieces uh, like that. Let me see. Now maybe we need the angles to be a bit more dramatic or drastic, so let me clear this and rotate it 45, negative 45. And uh, just first disable all the others. This needs to be 40, uh, needs to be rotated 45 degrees, negative 45. Uh, that just gives us that. Maybe yeah, something like that. And then oh, we don't need a different piece, we just need this mirror. So we don't need this piece. Then we can just Yeah, have a shape uh, like that. Make it even smaller if you want or larger if you want. I think, yeah, something like this. You can have that as another piece, but uh, uh, the wall now looks too plain. So what I can do is uh, add another loop here and uh, create this uh, detail here. Just add a loop here. If us, uh, because I think I have too many too much detail here. If us uh, merge uh, these vertices at this point, Grab this, Ctrl Shift B. Then grab this. have now we can just uh, insert this piece in that let me make sure that I have clipping turned on for these mirrors
I guess uh, what I need to do is... Yo, thank you for subscribing. Ah, crazy. Thank you, thank you. I thank you for live streaming. It's very useful. Uh, thank you too. Thank you too for, uh, for watching, really. Wouldn't be doing this uh, without you guys watching. And I love and I love doing it. So I'm just going to extrude this out just to add in some extra detail because it looked too plain. And I also can extrude this in, get rid of this face. Nah. Uh, okay. Grab this. Grab this edge loop. And uh, we can use this time, we can use some custom uh, profile moldings. Uh, so let's try a conis molding. Uh, but this, the, this requires a few subdivisions. And, uh, like that. And uh, maybe let's, let's try it, uh, the same for this side. I uh, just need to make sure this is a single face. Grab that edge loop. Control B. Maybe just reduce uh, these segments a bit. Yes. Like that. And uh, to make it stand out, uh, to make this stand out, we can add a loop somewhere here. A continuous loop. Just going to duplicate this. Yes. So we have an extra detail like that. But uh, this here, this piece here, we are going to give it uh, the brighter material just to make things look a bit more different around there. Now you can also select uh, the inside parts of this and uh, just give it as well uh, the brighter material. And uh, maybe uh, this inner part just to make it look a bit fresher. I like that. Uh, if you want, you can go an extra step. Just grab this edge loop. I select uh, the detail we have just created. Uh, maybe this. Okay, I'm not sure why this is extending very fast like that. You don't need this. Hmm. Want to deselect everything. Now we can grab this. Uh, duplicate it and then scale it down just going to extrude it in like that and uh, we can just delete this face select that just make sure that these are aligned correctly just bridge and we make sure that this bottom part is not there. Can grab this edge loop, connect it with these bridge loops like that. Now we can uh, then bring back 
uh, this part also needs to have uh, the same material as that so we shall use that as well and uh, now we can just use bring back the mirror modifiers Now this also has to be on the same level as everything else. So let's also save this as a piece. So I call this uh, uh, maybe Pentagon, Pentagon One. Save that as a collection. Now we can just use it as a collection instance as well. So instance, uh, instance uh, Pentagon. Ah, another thing we forgot is just make sure that uh, everything is at the center. As I've said, to the center, like that. So we have most of the pieces that are necessary. So let's go pentagon. So we can uh, uh, pentagon, 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 pentagon. Do another one and uh, make the tower SAFE. Make it shooter duplicate this again do something like that so we can make a very long tower add our MSC instance add a dome part around here and now we can even add another pentagon piece inside there just for extra detail maybe make this Mm. Ah, this doesn't fit very well but uh, we can add now a dome blue on top of this or just uh, add a tower Actually, that's, that also works, a tower inside there. And I maybe just have something like that. Another dome somewhere here. And uh, we have a piece like that. So you can see that uh, for the most part we have most of these pieces here so we have this uh, we have uh, this here we have created this uh, this is the same as this I think very nice uh, thank you Santos Kuma uh, this is also a variation of what we have uh, we can uh, let me see let me see I think this here let me see. I'm looking at this piece and I'm wondering if I should do it in this stream or in the next stream. So we still have a bit, maybe five minutes to go uh, before I leave. 
another trick, another thing about this is that, uh, remember these, all these pieces can be changed, their colors can be changed, uh, but uh, before, let me first get rid of these, make sure that I'm not getting rid of anything uh, that is, we set this up when we are setting everything up. Okay, let's create this piece and then we can call it a day. Uh, especially this part here. So for that part, I think we don't have to start from scratch. We already have this piece. So I'm going to shift D, duplicate this. And uh, first thing is first, I'm just going to get rid of the thickness here uh, that we have. What I'm going to retain is uh, uh, the, uh, the top part, this part here. And uh, looking closely, I see that uh, there's some kind of a loop going from up to down. So we can start by adding that. I think it pulls out a bit. So if I grab this piece, can extrude it out like that. Just uh, first make sure that uh, this is uh, taken care of. Yes. Might this with that. And uh, this piece also, I think uh, we can also add, let me first get rid of this piece. And uh, add a loop <coughs> and another loop here. And, uh, we can push this in. So we have a nice detail like that in there. Then it looks like, uh, first of all, that uh, this extends, uh, this is a thick wall like that, but uh, this doesn't extend uh, down at all. Comes to around this, uh, this, this size here. And uh, I think another thing we need to do is, uh, first of all, let me see, let me see, add a cut around here, let me just, a, a cut around here, and just join uh, these pieces, so I need to get rid of cut like that. I need to get rid of uh, these faces here. And uh, add a loop like that. Hmm. I think we just You need this connected. You need these uh, connected like so. And uh, these faces here need to go as well. Now we just have to bridge this piece and make sure that uh, uh, this this loop here is at the same level as uh, that, and uh, this loop has to be pushed in a bit. And uh, I think this part also has to be extend it just a bit I'd have something like that now from there hmm uh, I think another thing we can do is uh 
we need a loop here. I think this has to be on the same level as this. So something like that. And I maybe grab these edge loops, uh, drag them something like that uh, we're having an issue here so I can just get rid of this edge loop like that and uh, I think this entire piece have to be a separate color has to have the same needs the same material like that now let's create this inside detail after that let's see we can uh, start with a curve rotate hmm I'm thinking of a way to create this pattern this pattern here so uh, this is a, a vector this Uh, somewhere like that. Now let me just delete uh, this segment. Just extrude down. So if we change this to a, a 3D curve, hit F I uh, just make sure that this is set to vector like that I uh, fill this in front like that maybe even mirror this mirror this on the x-axis we can add another circle rotate X uh, this should be toward the view and uh, it should be a vector and rotated 45 degrees like that and I'm just going to grab these uh, so we have something like that Now all we need is uh, these diamond shapes. For those, uh, we can st uh, start by, uh, let me see. I think if I grab this piece, show sure, yesterday's render, please. Uh, did I live stream yesterday? I think I did, I just don't remember the render. Let me check. Oh, yesterday's render, I, I remember. Uh, I'm going to show that at the end of the stream. Um, I had forgotten that. And uh, if you check uh, exclamation mark website, that's where I post uh, the final renders and uh, the reference images to what we have created. Are we going to grab this? Shift D, um, scale it up like that and then I think you can grab this to to here shift D I uh, just convert them into vectors F and then connect this to this I connect this uh, to that 
and uh, this here has to be vector as well just going to and now we have something like that except this has to be hmm yeah this has to be something like that Let me change this to vector. And uh, now the other diamonds, I think I can grab I can grab uh, this piece, shift D F, make sure this is also a vector and uh, this is a vector. Actually, I'm not really sure how I'm going to approach. Uh, because first of all, they are not very, very visible. But I think uh, this extends here. Hmm. Actually, instead of doing this this way, we can just uh, grab this up to here, grab this, this has to be a vector, this has to be a vector, this here, and this Hello Ganja Farmer, how are you doing? Yeah, something like that. Uh, then, let me see. Okay, so... Uh, maybe another piece. You know what? We need a better approach to this because uh, this is taking way, way more time and uh, especially because I'm not seeing uh, what I'm making very clearly. I think I can also just do shift D, mirror this on the X axis. We have already achieved this. Hmm. Just try. Just try starting with that. Uh, Plain. Yeah, I'm really not sure what the best approach to this would be. Because even when I subdivide this a few times, I'm thinking of just using uh, a, decimate, a, a decimate modifier, changing this to subdivide. Now that gives us that. And that doesn't really give us the pattern I'm looking for. But I think if we do, if I get rid of this, use loop tools add-on. And uh, how is that? Does it also make curves? Not updated on the website? Yes, I haven't uh, updated it yet uh, because I had forgot. I've had forgotten. I think if we use, uh, let me grab this piece and this piece, shift D, just grab this piece. Just mirror it on the mirror it on the Z. Just have this connected. I think I need to rotate this 180 degrees. If I have a piece like this, I can bring it in here, and uh, that should be able to shape. I don't know the details we want. Does it? Mm 
I'm thinking. Now, the problem this is a very low resolution, so I can't really tell the details. <coughs> but uh, let's not wait, waste too much time on this. I'm just going to grab. Let's going to go to the curve. If I remove this, go to the curve editor, remove some of the resolution uh, so we don't have a lot. Right click, convert to mesh uh, so we have something like this. And uh, then maybe we can just use a knife tool here to just cut in some of that detail. So can come in here, maybe first get rid of some of these faces. think uh, if I select this I can turn that into a single face and do the same this side like that so now I can simply insert um, get rid of these And I think uh, this this loop here is supposed to extend and go to uh, this side, and uh, this also has to do the same basically, like that. Same with this. Like that. And there may be even this cut would just extend. And then this here would also do the same. So I'm just going to do it manually instead of they are mostly diamond or cross shaped yeah but, but uh, i think the they follow a curve structure so getting that getting the diamonds to follow that structure is a bit hard so i'm just going to and are they going to be fine a distance they won't be too visible i think hopefully I think I can add a cut here. So something like that, I think. And then I think we can grab all the faces here. Hit I twice. And uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but uh, we're just going to go with that uh, just so we don't waste too much time on this. I'm just going to grab these faces here, get rid of those, then mirror this. And uh, uh, this just needs to be extruded like that and uh, now has to be added on here apply the mirror and then add another mirror that's uh, somewhere here apply and just first get this out to align correctly Just give it the same material. Control L, link materials. Huh. 
How old are you? Um, I think 29. Yeah, 29. So something like that. And uh, now I can just join this. Wait, actually, this has to be the here. We have that now, and uh, these things are long, so you can grab these faces. Make them as long as well. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Mathi, Mathis 2K. Thank you, thank you. So something like that. And uh, I'm going to change the red, uh, this brick here. I just change it a bit. It's going to be brick but uh, without the brick itself. So I'm just going to make this and uh, find uh, the brick texture here. Just get rid of that. So we have something like that. Maybe this is even more reddish like that. And now that we have this, all we have to do is uh, find our pentagon. So let me get our pentagon. Pentagon here. I'm going to duplicate it. Duplicate the entire collection. Control T, duplicate collection. And I'm going to call this uh, tower maybe. Tower 2. And uh, the reason why I, I did that is because now that we have done the wall, uh, this is our, uh, this, first side this, uh, we can use this to sample this data. So let me first apply the scale for this. I can just do controlling object data. And I think I need to, uh, before we do that, let me make sure that I apply uh, the rotation of this. I just make sure that uh, we are using uh, the right mirror offset. Yeah, so something like that. I think these have to be a bit thin. Now this time, let's try this again. Control link, object data. Uh, actually, we need to make sure that uh, let me first duplicate this. Apply uh, the mirror. Apply uh, the that. Then control link object data. Yes, you can see we get that shape. Just have to play with a few things now. Yes, uh, hey, thank you for subscribing. Uh, that was Yuri Oz. Thank you. What assets are the ones in the background? In the background, these here are those ones we created previously. They're just uh, this piece, uh, this piece here, uh, some walls. So uh, tomorrow or in the evening, I think tomorrow, I'll be making another stream, just putting everything together because right now we're just making other pieces one by one. But, uh, if you will, if you will be around, uh, that would be amazing. Now nah, that's one piece. We can uh, get our empty. If I grab. This empty, I can control the width. So something like that. 
kind of even extend this and, uh, now we can uh, this is since we have now this other tower too with all our details let's see what could be missing i think uh, that's good you can disable that for a second we can now do shift a bring tower two and see how we can use it so this is our tower two now if we add man you ha you are very talented have you worked for any gaming project? No, no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, mostly I do freelancing. I can grab this piece here, uh, this dome here. And uh, if we, uh, the dome itself doesn't have to, to be visible, I think. I think uh, you're gonna need. Okay, so. It seems we're going to need a different dome uh, that has six sides as this. Uh, to make it fit. To make, make it fit. But, uh, yeah, we have gone for two hours and something. Let's just review what we have done. If us disable everything here so we started with we created uh, we created uh, this blue piece here uh, which is something like this then we have we created this piece then we created this here then we created uh, uh, this tower here is some intricate art uh, designs like that uh, then we created tower 2 like that so uh, and also I think we have a wall somewhere let me bring back my collection yeah we also have uh, this wall here uh, we also have uh, this piece here as well yeah and uh, this here as well can so in the next live stream uh tomorrow hopefully we will be putting things together and uh making this piece and uh, just to make our lives easier maybe we can uh, start let me first uh go to my asset library and just add these pieces together on live stream so i'm just going to go yo thank you for subscribing pevo podolski to make things much faster, I'm just going to go into my asset library and uh, I'll create, I think I can go in my medieval park and just create a category called building parts, building uh, parts and just add uh, these pieces there. So save that. Yes, save that piece as well. Save that piece. Render that. Save that. And I think this also, this entire piece can be a single, can be tower something, maybe tower four. Tower four. And uh, this we can render this as a collection. And uh, then I have this wall. I also have uh, this wall. So when we start piecing things together, this uh, should be much faster since uh, we have already put them in our collection.
let me grab this then grab the tower <coughs> I'm learning to model at modeling taking reference images are from Pinterest. Yeah, that's a nice way to start. Thank you, Singh, for the hands. It's also going to grab this. I think it's a simple object. Actually, it needs to be... Hmm, a collection. Render this. Uh, let me render it from an angle like that. Save that. Let's grab this as well. Okay, now when we start, we hopefully when we start tomorrow, uh, we can just, uh, we don't have to start from scratch. We have all our pieces made and are ready to go. So, like that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh. Let me show you what we created yesterday uh, for those who are not around. So let's go. I think we, it was a medieval town. Uh, we started off uh, trying to make a medieval town, but we ended up uh, changing it into this, uh, into a completely different scene. Let me just uh, wait for this, for the shaders to compile here. Yeah, so this is what we created yesterday. And uh, you can see. And, and actually looks good from uh, different angles, uh, which I think is nice. I think. Uh, the only thing I would change here is I would duplicate this, rotate it on the Y. Just so even when we rotate this side, we are still seeing some of those God rays. Yeah, the project is available to my patrons if you want to check it out. And uh, yeah, this was created in the previous, in yesterday's stream. And you see, when if you watch the, that stream, uh, it's a bit, we don't start off with uh with this idea we just end up changing ideas midstream and uh, decided to go with this yeah so that's it thanks thank you i will post uh, the final render for everything on uh, the website again you said it was fun yeah thank you <laughs> yeah it was indeed fun uh, again my internet just cut off but uh, we had gone we are nearly completed the piece, so let me just uh, website web website and uh, socials for anyone who want to f who wants to follow my Instagram, which only has renders. So these are some of the things we have done on live stream. Let me see. Show me, show you some of these pieces. So if you want to go there and uh, just take a look at uh, some of the renders we have made, you will find uh, them there. Anyway, that's it. I uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, video.